position because now Beto is occupied with his work. Again, I'm department. not affirming anything. I'm not affirming anything. I'm just saying oh, it's, a, work, saying like it's, it's a concept that I don't think. Me, I, wait, wait. I'm saying I don't think it's a concept that either of us disagree with. Whether it applies, we can disagree with. But I'm just saying I don't think it's a concept that we both disagree with. So I think it would be the case here. I don't think it necessarily has to lead to, or it isn't more likely to be a factor into strength at all. I don't think you've proven yeah, but- that. Okay, wait, sorry if I misinterpret your argument, but you do realize that Naoya was also going to become the leader of the head, or the head of the Zenin clan after Naoya died, and he was going to, well, there was no indication that he was going to position as member. Yeah, of you know, um, do, you, uh, do you know that he was going to still, like, maintain the leader of the head, uh, Hay as well, or? Uh, we don't know that, but there's no yeah. indication for it. I mean, th- th- I understand that you're saying, okay, there's nothing that implies that, but for your argument to work, right? That would have to be the case, or more likely to be the case, right? You can't just say, "Oh, since I'm the the opposite isn't implied, the, this yeah, is the case." Because what I'm what I'm asking is, what I'm asking is, like I've already explained the the concept to you that there can be other people working under you that have positions that you're better than them at, but since you're occupied, they're taking up those positions. Again, that's not a concept we disagree with. So yeah, yeah. I don't obviously, know why you're like. Obviously, can we get obviously, to the nitty Yeah, obviously, obviously, it's possible that now Beto is better, and now you're. But or better than now, but because he's occupied with the political business of the hate clan. Do you want to give me chooses... justification? Huh? Do you want me to give you like some sort of justification for it? Or like something that no, implies no, like still no, be no, better than our okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, we can get to that after, but let me just finish. So I understand that it's possible that this could be the case, right? But I don't see why like okay, the hate clan was made to deal with like combat related matters within the clan as well as outside of the clan right it's the clan's main or primary combat Wait, force. Say that again? so say that again? i said that the clan or like the squad or the sector right the hay was made to deal with combat matters or combat related mm-hmm. issues within and as well as external to the clan so i believe it to be the case that now Vito's political matters when he is doing or when he is being the head of the clan shouldn't really influence his actions within the hay squad the same That's way that i think at all Wait, wait, the same way, for example, the same way that uh, Principal Gaku Kanji, for example, he can be the principal as well as a Jiu-Jitsu sorcerer of grade one level. I don't think there's any disconnect here. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> That's what I'm arguing. I'm arguing that if we have someone on that level, right, like now we on that level, but since he's dealing with other business, I, I agree there's a fighting component strictly made for fighting related purposes. Just because it's fighting related purposes doesn't mean you have to include the person who's the strongest when they have more roles and um, duties to that clan. I think the best example of that would be, <clears throat> like, um, for example, just because um, someone's strong, right? Let's say, for example, um, Naya's like in part of the clan. Let's say if someone's the most valuable asset of your team, you don't just send them out and put their lives in danger. I think that's what you do. I like I, there's obviously there's a fighting team for a reason, so that they can handle the fighting matters. And then there's the political aspect where the leader can do both fight and do the political uh, political stuff, right? So as long as you agree that that's a factor, I think this argument is stupid, and we're not gonna get anywhere. We're just gonna go into like a assumption battle. I think I can give you likelihood as to why Nabu's a factor in Naya. I can like get yeah, into you, like the actual part. Yeah, you you can do that because I don't think that there's like. A reason to believe that now Beto can't participate in battle and lead his his squad whilst also being the head oh, of the clan. I'm just saying we're both assuming stuff. Can we just get to like an actual like audience where I can yeah, like but you're, you're on the affirmative for these possibilities. But yeah, you can. No, you can I'm not. I'll, you, I'm on the affirmative for possibilities when I'm have the negative negation stance of what you're claiming. Are you serious? You no, make no, no, an argument. I'm, I'm on mm-hmm. the negation. And then I'm mm-hmm. saying that, okay, your argument has these presuppositions embedded within them, and I'm saying that these presuppositions cannot be justified because of things that I can present to you. So let me present to you those things. No, no, no. My argument was just that this, right? Now he's the head of the clan. Or head, no, head it's of the so clan. unnecessary, head, bro. Yeah, hold on. Tom and chill. Let me just repeat this, and then we can move on. My argument was that now he was the head of the Hay, okay? Now he's just a member of the Hay. And since the Hay is a combat squad primarily, right, now you should be stronger than now Beto. And then I link this back with like other, or I could link this back with other squadrons made for battle, such as like the heavy hitters and Yuta or um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Or like the Shibuya squadrons where they make teams and it seems that the captains of these teams are the stronger me- members and then the members of the teams are the weaker members. And it seems like there seems to be a correlation or consistency. But yeah, you can send me the scans that show now Beto is faster. Wait, wait, okay, that again, but make it more concise because I don't know what you said. Okay, right. so. The argument was just that this. 
Now you are is the chief of the hay. Now Beto is within the hay. Now you should be strong than now Beto. And then the oh. consistency I draw drew was that, for example, when they're like making the squadrons for Shibuya, they have Mei Mei and Nanami captain teams and Naruto captain teams. Then they have people like Yuji and Megumi as members of these teams, which seems to imply that the veteran or grade one sorcerers that are like experienced yeah, seem to be captaining the teams. So it just draws a consistency between who's the captain, who's the members, who's stronger, who's weaker, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine in a general setting where all their roles is like specifically <laughs> combat stuff, right? What I'm saying is, when it comes to like operating a family, because again, I think you've also made this argument already that there's business outside of just fighting, right? So I think in this case, who's leader, that can be based up upon different things, and who's going to be in the leader of a squad, of a fighting squad primarily, which puts the leader's life at risk. I think those are two different things. I think it's like, you're supposed to protect the guy who's the leader. That's what, like, the president always has the highest amount of protection. I think that's like, and we disagree with but regardless i'll just get to like the actual arguments now because i think this is yeah, really yeah. stupid um right, yeah fine. Naruto's just um he's just stated with a passive projector for sorry so could you could you send me that statement yeah thank you um Shinra, can you send that to me why does why does gizbob keep talking and chat like he's good or something like wait are you talking about the one that combo states yeah um yeah, i can Bob. find it Get off Tongue's dick. Yes, yeah. Giz Bob. I only mentioned that because there were presuppositions that were contradicted via scans I'm just about to provide so you can get off my meat and go no, back are to you what talking you about this one, Sorry, 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 the manga C one, the manga C one is literally like the uh, with projection stories the fastest is um Zeni Naruto, but yeah, it, it, it's just oh, like did uh, you send it? Yeah, the projection like, sorcery of the fastest Zeni, yeah, to his knowledge. Um, he's watching now. If I do, yeah, I'm I'm aware, right? Like he's saying that it's the projection sorcery of the fastest Zeni Naruto to his knowledge. I think that the statement is isn't the statement also contradicted? Sorry, contradicted by what? I'm pretty sure now, uh, not now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kano states in this very same arc that his speed is unrivaled. Like when he's Can talking about, he, uh, Shinra should be able to find it. When he's talking about like, oh, his durability and his speed, I'm pretty sure he says his speed is something is like something I've never seen before. Which pretty yeah, sure. which it, yeah, which seems to imply that obviously if he's seen Naobito and he's like making this statement based off his like empirical basis, then it would contradict the idea that he's actually the fastest in this statement because he's seeing someone right now that's faster than him if that makes sense yeah, yeah, about... i don't know i don't know why yanni is bazin <laughs> okay Shinra, do you know the statement where nahi is called unparalleled by kama huh do you know the statement where nahi is unparalleled by kama uh, yes i'll find you my dude all of you Wait, oh, so do you is... agree that this statement exists, or do you want to see it first? Oh, I, I have, I've never heard of it. I'll oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Statement. Give me a second. Yes, Bob, have you heard of it? Or am I just, like, getting all equipped? No, uh, I Wait, what did you, you ask for? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this, this you statement says... You know any says... candidate that Naya is unrivaled? I sent it, Tam and I sent it. Yeah, the statement says yeah. he's faster than anything, but in terms of toughness, he barely compares to that thing. So doesn't this just imply that it contradicts this previous statement that he makes? See, 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 Tom. Um, the statement says that his speed is unparalleled. Well, yeah, it, it's, it makes the same thing. His speed is unparalleled. His faster than anything. Same meaning, just different wording. That's fine. Okay, this can be just enough because this creates a good contradiction. I think we make arguments i think we should take the route that creates at least some of the contradictions i think yeah this, I is, just, this is the context of them i think just the context of them yeah i think it's a contradiction which is why i'm saying when he says the fastest zen and albi to his referring yeah, to I'm his saying this, wait 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 see see i'm telling you this scan is in reference to them like on the battlefield he's in reference like, to what like he, it's in context to them in the battlefield because he did like mock and blitz the shit out of maki right and he did calling back to that of like Kamu blitzing Maki, I mean Naya blitzing Maki. So I think it makes sense if it's just in to them. Like he's unparalleled in that battlefield. I don't know why he has to stand up to literally everyone in a Gojo exists and stuff. 
Yeah. I think that's what Tyson. JJK isn't for everyone, bro. So wait, so you're trying to limit no, the okay, statement? Not, wait, chill, so, chill, chill. Wait, you're trying to? Are you trying to limit the statement simply to the battlefield? Wait, one sec. Just trying to limit. Wow. Can you uh, wait? Um, say it again, see? Are you saying that you're trying in order to avoid a contradiction? You're trying to limit this statement only to this battlefield. I'm not saying that there's a limitation. I don't think this is necessarily the case. So anything like that. I'm just saying that I think that makes rationale some piece of context provided to us. I, I am trying to like negate the idea that there's a contradiction. Yes, but I'm saying there's context supporting this too. Yeah, yeah. So okay, I understand you're trying to negate the fact that there's a contradiction, but using uh, this initial statement, which is that the projection sorcery of the fastest than an hour on a day, they seem to they seem to highlight the fastest. I think it lends credence to the why idea that you, he's not. Why are wait, you? We're talking, wait, we're on two different points, see? Because you're yeah, trying yeah. to talk about the first scan, and we're talking about a different scan, which has completely different context. So yeah, I think we have no. to this one first and go back to that one. No, no, I think, I think both of these scans are integral to the main point, which is whether now Beta is actually the fastest. Huh? Which is, what, which is why I'm saying, right, in order to avoid wait, a contradiction said? between. I said, I think both of these scans are integral to the idea of whether now Beta is the fastest. So in it, order to that's avoid. Okay. That's okay. See, see, see. All of these points are central and ideal to the overall debate that we're having. That doesn't mean we're going to flip flop between like 20 different yeah, points. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not flip flopping point. between points. I'm flip flopping between scans. So I'm saying that okay, if you look okay. at this. Okay, I don't think that's uh, causing uh, me Tom trouble. So uh, I think I'm having. To, wait. Oh my God. Tom, you're trying to. Sorry, I'm, I need to call you off here because I, I don't know what the issue is. If we're trying to avoid a contradiction between these two scans, I need to reference them. Do I not? No, that's fine. But you're not referencing, you're providing additional context for that one so that we can have more clarity on what that means. I'm going to disagree with your context, obviously. Okay, I'm that's fine. So you can, that. Yeah, that's fine. We can put the second scan on hold. We'll return to it later. So in reference to the first okay. scan, in order to avoid a contradiction, I can just look at the same wording, right? And derive a different conclusion. That conclusion being the fastest. Wait, wait. That conclusion being the fastest, which they highlight, seems to be referen seems to be referential to his title, as opposed to like an actual descriptive statement of his speed, which doesn't why contradict do the second title. Huh? Why do I think why it's reference to his title? title? Yeah. Huh? Because we know this is like in Shibuya as well. So why do you just like reference the strictly title? Uh, I don't think it's stated in Shibuya that Nabito is the fastest. No, he says besides Goji is the fastest, or he was the fastest until he lost his arm. That's so, not what it says. Not it's it's that is what it says. I've argued I mean, with this with um, Gas before. The, 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 you're not going to win this argument. But yeah, okay. You can send it. Uh, you, can, you can send the same then, but yeah. I think that the fact that it says the fastest... You know, can you send it for Tenso? Yeah, wait, wait. Tommy, if you don't think it's referential to his title, don't you think that this would also... Naruto's the best the like, in the big three. Wait, wait. If you don't think this is referential to his Why title... Why did he join to lie? Wait, chill, 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 chill. If you don't think this is referential to his title, don't you think this would also apply to Gojo? Since he's saying that he's the fastest, which is superlative. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. Though. I'm saying when these kind of statements are made that, oh, he's the fastest, he specifies with projection sorcery. So I don't think it would be like in reference to every. I don't think Gojo's projection yeah. sorcery. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it, it doesn't say but, that he's the mean, fastest. Wait, wait, chill. Wait, he didn't wait, say chill a second. Chill a second, bro. Chill, like, can I ask him for the scan that we can argue? Um, can you guys send me the scan of Shibuya, which calls now, which is the fastest until he. No, nigga. <laughs> anyway, just, bro, so anyways, yeah, Shino, if you could, or Frosty, or anyone, or Tensor, but even but if it's the, yeah, but in reference to the first scan, back to the point, even if it said the projection sorcery of, it says the projection sorcery of the fastest, but even if, even if it said the projection sorcery, or, no, the the big one says with, with, even if it said the project, or the fastest with projection sorcery, it still implies that with this thing, he is the fastest, and that would apply to Gojo unless you agree his reference. No, to no, that's a, that's like an extra assumption because you're saying that, oh, hypothetically, if all characters are PS, then he would still be the fastest. So, like, I think that's like a super vague thing. It's an extra, extra assumption where the, we, if we just take a face value, it's just saying, oh, every kick, um, faster projection sorcery user, projection sorcery user, um, Nabuto. With projection sorcery the fastest, Nabuto, because anyone's using it like if you want to like be like super weird about it interpret it in the way that oh this means if i play gojo for in sorcery he would still be sorted in albuto i think that's retarded no no no. i'm saying that using this thing right he is the fastest like for example if i say he is the strongest with a sword that means that when he has a sword he is the strongest and similarly or, i can edit an albuto statement or, if he has projection or, sorcery and he's using it now albuto would be the fastest. or it could mean or it could mean he's the strongest person who owns a sword I think that's fine.
No, I don't. I think that changes the semantics of the word. No, I think you're saying it for something. I don't think it changes yeah. anything. Even, even if we interpret it that way, if, if that will just mean that Nabito is the fastest person. Do you want to move on, dude? Do you want to move on? Uh, I don't think that's an extra assumption at all, because I'm thinking of face value. You're adding on context. Or adding I'm on assumption. Adding, you're making more... Va- like, I think the... Wait, 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 wait. I think the stronger argument is the one that's more contextual rather than the one that's more vague. So. Okay. I don't think my argument is more vague. vague. I think I think that yeah. chill, 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 chill. I think that my argument is supported by the semantics. The semantics says that the projection sorcery implying that the curse technique is in question of the fastest, right? And you're saying that this applies to, uh, or this isn't referential to his title. The reason why I'm making it clear that it's not referential to his title under your framework is that his title specifies that it's not applicable to Gojo or any other people like that. However, okay. if it is but- not referential to his title, then he would also be applicable to Gojo and other sorcerers. Okay, but that's right. what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Though. That's what I'm saying. Though. If you want to make a semantical argument, I don't. I think you interpret it differently than I am because I think it makes it clear what it's in referencing. It's referencing to in specific because I think when it's referred to in Shibuya, the same st- um, statement, it specifies other than Gojo. So I think it's there's a consistency throughout the series. Like like we know Gojo is the fast and the strongest. So when Kamo makes a statement, I think it's pretty obvious for us to assume that, oh, it's in reference to PS. I've given you a basis for that, using the Shibuya thing. And I've given you a basis saying that your argument requires more assumptions. And I'm also telling you it's much more vague than what I'm arguing. Because I have a concise yeah. idea of what the statement is providing to us. So, I don't know. Yeah. Like a, it feels like a skepticism, like, spam to me. But Obviously, you know. obviously when you pre- present a, lot, a multitude of arguments, which you just said three that you made, I can't respond to well, all of them. Because obviously no, no, I, these are I, arguments I haven't made prior. So, no, 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 I'm saying when you present multiple arguments, which is what you've just done, I can't respond to each and every one of them. When I tried to respond to two scans in tandem, you said I can't do that. So just because I haven't gone around to all of your arguments doesn't necessarily mean I don't have counter to them. To respond no, to the no, like no, assumption no, point, because no, I don't wait necessarily... A second, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Before you make me seem like I was like a shotgun you or any part, anyone thinks I'm a shotgun you, I shotgun you because I, these are things I've mentioned before. You were bringing up like additional stuff to stuff we haven't talked about yet. So I think yeah. that's like more of a shotgun than what I'm doing. I'm just I mean, summarizing not, it. No, not particularly. Uh, but For we sure. can we can talk about the extra assumptions that my interpretation is inclusive of. Can you make them clear to me? Um, the extra assumption. The extra assumption would just be that your thing is you're saying that oh, this could be hypothetically including everyone who has project who could hypothetically get projection sorcery thus if everyone hypothetically got projection sorcery Nabuto would still be the fastest putting Nabuto over Gojo which we know isn't true and now I'm saying that I think you assume me that this means that hypothetically everyone would PS and then that's what the same is in reference to I just an added assumption whereas I'm seeing a face value with full series context of knowing characters who have PS and then saying these it, what this is what it's in reference to. Okay, wait. Just just a quick question. Are you saying that the statement is only applicable to users of projection sorcery? Um, yeah, I think that's more likely based on okay. like um, yeah. yeah. First and foremost, I'm not making any extra assumptions, right? The statement that he is the fastest, like under the framework that this isn't referencing his title, under the framework that this is a descriptive statement of his speed. Then if it's not referencing his title, right, which makes a distinction, which I think obviously whether it's referencing his title or not, one of those points that you made would be contingent on it. But if it is not referencing his title, it would just simply mean that using projection sorcery, he is the fastest. Now, hypothetically, I've not made any claims affirming or denying that if Gojo was to get projection sorcery or if Yuji was to get projection sorcery, he would still be the fastest. That's not what the statement implies. That's not what I'm implying either. What I'm saying is that with X attribute or this quality, he is the fastest. And that's what the statement seems to imply if we take it at face value without using the context of what we know from the series. Does that make sense? Okay, you're saying without context, this is what I think yes, that implies. Sense. So what context am I ignoring, see? The context is that they have other people in the scan, such as Evolved Cursia and Gojo, who should just be strong, or not stronger, faster than Zen and Albita. The first one in question, and the second one, we all, that's what we're going over. The second one, like, I don't, I don't see why you brought that up. But um, regardless of all that, I still, I was still only going to take the primary point about the title stuff. Yeah, it's in reference to his title that, again, under my framework, is in, is given to him based on the speed. We see that title taken away from him in Shibuya once he loses the attribute to perform speed feats on that level, right? So I okay. think it just makes sense for him to be the fastest via the technique and be at this level and have this title because he deserves it. I think that's just how it's used in the yeah. series. Like, both of them are the strongest for fun. 
Yeah, I, promise, I promise I'll get to that right right after I ask this question. So your interpretation for the second time, I want to move off the first one because I don't really think you you gave a contention that attacks my own. So moving off from that scan to the second scan, where it says his speed is unparalleled, you're interpreting this to mean that it's only in reference to the battlefield? Um, it, I'm not affirming it. I'm just saying I think that makes contextual like likelihood. I think it's yeah. more likely contextually. So for, for me, I think that between these two scans, I think that, okay, under your framework, you're applying extra modifiers to the statement, right? So, for example, you're modifying the above statement to avoid a contradiction, which is fine, but it's still an extra assumption that I don't think is needed. I can just wait. interpret this statement to mean, wait, 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 wait. I can just interpret this statement to mean that his speed is unparalleled to Carmo's knowledge, right? So based on what Carmo knows or what Carmo has seen and, and experienced, because the context is that he's talking about previous experiences that he has had. So based on what he's seen and experienced, his speed is unparalleled, right? And similarly, the previous statement that we were talking about is also just to calm his knowledge. So based on his title, right, this is the, this is the case. I don't think it's descriptive. And that avoids okay. contradictions without going against the semantics of the statement. Um, one second. Yeah, no problem. I, I if, you're, if you're talking about the images, then I don't think that's like the case at all. Because we see, like, Rika, and he doesn't really see Rika, but I, I, that's not what you're arguing anyway. I was just, just pointing that out. But um, as for the rest of the thing, well, if you want to say that, okay, th he's referencing Kajun not on the bathroom, like, based, just based off what he's experienced before, I think the whole reason I brought up the contradiction stuff is because I think these two propositions, like, contradict each other, right? So I'm saying this can be kind of like contingent on the first point, kind of. But as for, like, me affirming, like, my argument for this point, I think it makes contextual sense, too, because he like he can be unparalleled in response to them on the battlefield. I don't see why it has to be in reference to every single person he's ever met. I think you you can interpret it that way, but I think we just at best we just have equal interpretations. Like you have I no mean, likelihood. We just have equal interpretations. I don't I don't think it would be equal because this this location of the same which just means the words of the statement imply my conclusion and your conclusion adds an extra modifier, which is that he's the fastest in reference to this, which isn't stated. But if you want no, me no, to no. talk about no, this, should be called a unparalleled. Thing. Wait, wait, wait. He's called unparalleled. I assume it to be contextually just in reference to people he's fighting because he just he blisses someone who uh who like Ma uh, Kamal considers really impressive, and then right after um what's it called? And you're saying that no, it's in reference to literally everyone he's seen before because it is called unparalleled. I understand why you think I'm making extra assumption, but the difference between and an argument is I can provide a basis for it instead of just making a dumbfounded claim like, or an unfounded claim. I'm not saying something that I just think is possible. I'm making a likelihood argument for it. So. Okay. Um, I don't... Did you want me to respond to the, the little Rika thing you said or can we just move on to the Sabia thing? Uh, the what thing? A uh, point about Rika because I think it, I might need to respond to it. The point about no, bro, bro. I promise you, the point doesn't matter. Like, if you want me to I, drop that, shit, I can drop no, that. No, no, it's just cool, it's that, cool. I was just saying, like, the images. Because if you think, oh, since Bo I don't know if Gorgeous images provided. Like, I don't know if that you were making the argument. Is Gorgeous no, it's, it's cool. No, no, yeah. it's cool. We can talk about the Shabia thing. So I'll let you explain the scan because you're the one that brought up. Um, it, it it just says like he was known for that fastest besides Gojo, and then they say the attribute to it. It says. But that was back when he still had two arms, and then he like he dies to Jogo. Yeah, I just interpret this to mean that he became known as the fastest, but this was when he only had one arm. So his feats that contributed to him becoming known as the fastest were when he has two arms, but now he only has one, which results in like diminished speed or whatever. Okay, but wait, they highlight a specific point in which he loses this, right? He says he became known, and he is not known anymore. Because he lost the arm. I think the fact that it's highlighted would mean that this only changed now. Because again, based off what we've been arguing so far, the title's given based off speed, not just past. Like, like it's not like a crown, right? This is given to you, even if you can operate at that weight anymore. You like just the fact that he has the title should mean he's the fastest. Now that's part of the reinforced by the highlighting here. Yeah, but don't don't you think that if if he lost that title, why is Karma still calling him the fastest? Wait one sec. Yeah, no worries, man. Wait, uh, say that again. I said that if he lost that title, why is Carmel still referring to him as the as the fastest? 
Okay, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's in reference to what Kamo knows about. He's just obvious. Like when you talk about a dead person, you don't talk about like a, a variation of them. In his context, he's clearly, he's clearly trying to refer to specific Nabita, which is the two armed, right? I don't think this statement, like, I don't think what you just asked me contradicts what I'm saying at all. I think Kamo could be referring to a dead person and say, oh, um, he was the fastest. Because obviously, I mean, he is the fastest. Is this in reference to, um, like, when he was alive, obviously? So. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I don't necessarily think that count with, count with my contention. What I was wondering um, was, do you think that, that um, do you think that he left the title at this point in Shibuya? Wait, 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 wait. Um, do you want to move off this? Because I feel like we're going to waste more time on this. Where were you going to go with the Nabuka and stuff? Do you, wait, do you, do you think that he becomes the fastest in Shibuya? That's all I want to know. Or does Nabuka go to fast in Shibuya? No, like, does he lose that title in Shibuya as well, I meant to ask? Um, when he loses his arm, yeah. So then Kamo is still caught. All right, that's fine. Yeah, but that's uh, what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying he doesn't mean literally because obviously he's dead, so he can't be the fastest. But I think yeah. what he's ref- referring to is obviously like the live version of him. Yeah. He, he okay. just words it weirdly, but I don't like... If you're going to be hyper-skeptic, you can. No, no, yeah. that's fine. Another thing I want to just ask is, well, do you understand what my interpretation of the statement was, which is just that he had or he became known as the fastest sorcerer, but he only, like, at the time he was known as the fastest sorcerer, he had two arms, right? That's my interpretation. Not that he was known as the fastest sorcerer and he was the fastest sorcerer, but he's no longer the fastest sorcerer because he lost an arm. Okay, 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 okay. You're saying that he performed feats that made him the fastest when he had two arms. Doesn't mean he can still perform these feats. That's just when he performed those feats. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm saying that he performed these okay. feats that gained him this reputation when he had two arms, but now he only has one. Okay. But if he lost his ability to perform those feats, they didn't have to list the arm being the reason. They could have just said, oh, he's gotten old, thus he can't perform those feats anymore, thus he lost the title. But I'm just saying, it's obviously firm in a certain way, or give worded to us in a certain manner, which is that, okay, we know this character loses this title of his when a certain thing goes wrong or a certain thing happens. If there were other things that already took him away from the position, I don't think this is statement necessary. Yeah, no, because... All right, no, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that. I know what's in question. I think that's what's, what I'm saying. what's in question is whether it's referential to his title. I don't think it's referential to his I title. That. I think that when it says that was when, right, it's referential to him performing those feats. He performed these feats when he had two arms, so you can no longer use these feats and say now be the fastest. He has all this speed because that was only when he had two arms. I don't think that these feats are referential to current day because we don't really know when he performed these feats. Now you might not even have been alive when you perform these feats. We don't know. So I don't think okay. we can really use no, I, I understand. I understand the claim. I understand the claim. But what okay. I'm saying is, I'm, I'm just like, I've given you my counter argument to it. I think we can move on. Um, okay. um, yeah, so, we can just, do you want to just presuppose that I won that point and then move on? Um, yeah, where well, are we going to go with this? Or actually, comrade, do you have a judgment, bro? Uh, yeah. What do you think? What's my judgment? Yeah, like for that now it's over now your point. So now I think you won. I think oh. Okay. All right, good yeah. shit. So uh, you think that okay, that shouldn't really change much. I don't think. Um, I, I just think killing. Um, it's very simple. It's just dog on over now over now That's it. Uh, dog on over now over now Do you want me to attack your scaling? Um, dog on over now over like what statement is specific? Oh, do you want, you want, like, you want to attack my statement? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want me to attack the scale? And okay, why is dog going over now? Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Hey, fuck that nigga gets Bob too. Lie down, lie down. Like, he hasn't even settled in that I lost that point. Like, I'm actually having PTSD. It's fine though. Bro, okay, okay, see, see, do you genuinely think, like, that's a crazy thing, like, I, like, I feel like I've made, like, a good argument, even if you don't think, like, it's better than yours. I yeah, think it's a pretty reasonable. I don't think you were, I don't think the argument was bad, I just don't think I lost, but it's fine, we can continue. Um, uh-huh. but, yeah, why is Dog on, why is Dog on about, I'll just talk to Comrade about it later when he has time. Do you think, or why is Dog on about now, Obito, is why we need to ask you. Um, it's said he was gonna kill all of them, if, um, Megumi didn't interfere. Uh... When was this stated? Is this after he lost his arm or before? Um. Feedless <laughs> remembers <laughs> inconsistency. <laughs> That's funny as shit, dude. <laughs> 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 
Um, this is um, this is dated like um after. Yeah. After he lost his arm. Oh, like he he and loses he... his arm because he's fighting Dagon. It's not like he lost his arm for like some other yeah. reason. Yeah. I think that there are like certain factors that we have to take into account now. Such as? Like, like, I don't think he lost his arm because of a stats thing. I think that he lost his arm because he decided to stand still and assess the situation. No, bro, he he lost his arm because his shit was overtaken. Like, I don't think not even shows, like, any sort of um simple domain or anything. No, what if he just... Wait, so I'm just going to send you this scan. So this is the scan right before they realize they're in a domain expansion. Now, Beach is just standing there. He doesn't even do anything. Like, do you know what I mean? So my argument is just that... Before they get to the domain? Wait, what? Are you talking about before they get into the domain or um, no, like when he gets at the very the... at the very moment? So the same panel, right? Now Vito just stands there. Obviously, the next panel we see that now Vito uses no, no. the falling blossom. Yeah, wait, 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 I was can I can I finish story? Yeah. No, obviously okay, the next sure. ob- obviously the next panel we see that now Vito uses falling blossom emotion. I'm mm-hmm. saying that I don't think that he lost his arm because of a stat thing. I think what happens is he uses falling blossom emotion, then he gets swarmed by the Shikigami. And he expects them to slow down, but they don't slow down in outfit. Then he gets off guarded because he couldn't see Dargon punching. And after that, the rest is history. Like he just loses his arm. Okay, wait. Um, say the second bit of like okay, because the first bit I think you should go over. I understand that he wasn't he was unaware that he was gonna take it into the domain. But again, for this argument, we're we're presupposing that he already has the domain or this is domain Dargon. So can you repeat the second bit or like why do you think he lost the yeah, so Nabito seemingly has like a delayed reaction or like maybe off I don't want to argue off guard for everything, but he seems to be a bit stunned when he enters the domain. And then the domain, like Dargon tests their capabilities. Nabito activates Golden Boss and Emotion. And I think he stands there waiting, expecting the Shikigami to slow down, but they don't slow down, right? You so he's a bit. You know, watched. simple domain like blocks the thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. He wasn't getting hit by the Shikigami. He was cutting them all up, but he was expecting the flow to slow down. The but, slow down. What would you say? I can, what do you mean? As in, the Shikigami were coming individually, right? They were coming in a swarm. He was expecting that swarm to slow down as the fight rest, but it didn't. So he was thinking about that, and then Dargon comes up. So he's like, um, is that Satan? Uh, yes, Shinra can get it. And then Dargon comes I'm up really out there. Yeah, that's fine. Dargon what? comes out outside of his peripheral. Dargon comes up outside of his peripheral. What did you say, Kyle? Just... What did you say, Kyle? What did you say, Jinder? Oh my why god, are guys, Why are you guys treating me like some common scandal? My, my bad, bro. My bad. But, anyways, can I finish my argument? So, Dargon comes up from outside of his peripheral, punches him, and then Nabita says the Shikigami were blocking my view. And then we can assume during that protest when his like entire shit has just been disrupted. Right, he loses his arm. So I don't think that he yeah, because, lost his but arm. Would you agree? Would you agree that he was getting overwhelmed by like the Shikigami? Would, when you say overwhelmed, what do you mean? Like he, there was just so many things he had to deal with that like he kind of like lost his guard. Uh, I was I agree to him being overwhelmed in the sense that he wanted or he was expecting the Shikigami to clear up. I don't think he was Wait, overwhelmed you, in the sense that. Can you think that him expecting to clear up? Because my argument would just be. It, the same thing would just happen to Nabuto. Like he, he like except that he doesn't have a simple domain or that we've seen. He just gets spammed by his thing, and then yeah, Dargon just works. Do you do you see how he's saying the force of the Shikigami isn't slowing down at all? Could it be the techniques connected to the disk domain is? And you can kind of see his perception, right? He can't see anything apart from the Shikigami. So well, obviously I, he's I not. I agree with you. I agree okay, with yeah. you. Like, oh. he can't so see we him. agree. So then we agree that it wasn't it wasn't necessarily an issue of killing the Shikigami approaching him was more so an issue of the eyesight being blocked and then being off guarded right afterwards. Yeah, okay, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't see why you think he's expecting the Shikigami to slow down. He realizes that they're not slowing down, and then he says, okay, this could be because of a factor, but this is completely like him understanding and accepting that the Shikigami aren't slowing down is different from like him expecting it to slow down. I don't know where you got that much from. Um, I guess I guess you could say... Fact, wait, wait. The fact that he says the force of the Shikigami isn't slowing down at all, you don't think that's indicative of him being like pondering this? Like the fact that the Shikigami, he was expecting this to happen, but it's not? Like, I'm confused. No, no, no. I, I understand that. The Shikigami problem to him at the moment, right? Because um, it's like it's coming in so much, uh, so like the volume of the Shikigami is so high. Like they're all coming 
needs to do something. He, I guess you can say that he was expecting to slow down, right? So that he can counterattack. But my point is, what, uh, like, how? Yeah, I agree. Let's say he was off guard here because, like, he wasn't, like, he had nothing to do in this case, right? Naya has nothing to do in this case either. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't just, understand why this makes a distinction. Like, what's Naya gonna do? I disagree. So, what was the what was the first contention you had? Do you not think Naya has a simple domain, or not simple domain? You not think he has full and Boston emotion? I I'm saying I don't know if he does. Uh, I just believe it to be a case that. All members of the great families that grew up within the great families should have the technique. But Gojo and Abuja. Go, Gojo has it, Ogi has it, and we also know that, was it Gojo has it, Ogi has it, and Albito has it. So that's three people. And then I'm pretty sure, no, I think that's the only three that we see that use the technique. Do you, um, what's it called? For, for that, if, if, let's say, hypothetically, that was the case, you agree, um, Simple Domain can be overpowered, right? A simple domain might be overpowerable because as a barrier, I don't think the same applies to full loss in emotion. Um, Gojo's simple domain is overpowered now. Yeah, but his his falling loss in emotion doesn't have a barrier to be overpowered by. No, but that's what I'm saying. What do you think a falling loss in emotion is then? See, because I need like uh, understand what you're getting from nothing. It, it's like it coats yourself, or when you coat yourself with like autonomous class energy that just attacks anything that it comes into contact with. Okay, so it just. Uh, um, you said that's what Naruto does, right? Just cuts him off. But that's what I'm saying is, it, it, like, let's say Naya's in the situation, right? Um, Naya's fighting Dog in the same manner as Naruto. He gets by. Let's say he has fallen into emotion. He turns it on. He's just waiting for something to happen because he can't see shit. Dog on one towards him, beats the shit out of him. That's why. Wait, sorry, what did you say? I'm saying. If Naya was in the situation, Naya gets overwhelmed by stopping it by the falling blossom emotion, cuts them, but they're still coming. They're not slowing down. He still can't see shit. Dagon runs towards him and beats the shit out of him. What does he do? I, I, don't, I don't think Naya would stop. I think he would immediately activate and start stacking his technique in tandem with the falling blossom emotion. Um... That, that's just an assumption basis. It's kind of like it's kind of like you're guessing how the fight would play out no, because I'm really. saying that no, because I don't no. like Dagon. We see he's just like off the bat. He starts shooting those things. He doesn't like physically engage. Just off the bat, he starts shooting his fish, right? Yeah. Can I present my basis why I think this would happen? No, so, I understand that you think I can stack, but you'd have to prove that he can yeah, start I, stacking and gaining speed before Dagon starts overwhelming him with the Shiki Gami. I think that's I don't. I don't think he gets overwhelmed. Let me explain. So. Okay, here's how I think the fight turns out. So I think the reason why Nalbito gets overwhelmed primarily is because he stands still. Obviously, swarming and encircling something that's standing still is much more difficult to swarming than encircling something that's moving. I think that Nalbito stood still. still why is he, do you think he was moving? No, I'm asking you, like, why, what was the, what forced him to stand still? It's because, oh, I, I, think that, I, think that, I think that the the way that now B2 uses his technique is different from the way that now you uses it. I think that if you look at the scan you sent where it says, with his natural born sense of strategic timing, right, which implies an aspect of strategy, right? So I mm-hmm. think that in his, in this case, now B2 was standing still to understand the domain and try to plan and predetermine his movements in the most ample way. I don't think now he uses the technique the same way. I think that the way now he uses it is he just charges forward and builds up the most speed in the smallest amount of time and it's a punch for his opponent. Okay, okay, but that's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that how you're, uh, you're assuming what you think now, but the strategy in this case was for him to like stop. But what I'm saying is we don't have an idea because we don't know now is more now is more strategic than Naya, right? He's the one who uses PS2 its best because of how smart he is with it. If he gets overwhelmed and you're saying, oh, his strategy was probably just standing there instead of him being forced to stand there, I think you're drawing an assumption that we it, it, we're just like I think this entire debate after the first punch has been, oh, I think the fight's gonna play out like this. No, no, I think the fight's gonna play out like this. We're not I mean, gonna get anywhere. Here. I'm just, I'm just extrapolating based on what we know. We know that now Vito stood still. Victor. Wait, we know what we know that now Vito stood still, and we know that he was smiling while standing still. Tessaro or anyone can send a scan prior. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. He seems, wait, wait, chill, chill. He seems to be sta- smiling while standing still and content yeah. with his actions, right? I'm just saying that since we know that this is the case, right, and we know that now Vito has strategy. It's possible that him standing still was in order for him to evaluate his strategy and predetermine his movements because we know that's an important aspect of the ten, or ten shadows of the projection sorcery technique. And then I said, Naya, 
Okay, I said that we know that he was standing still. And I said that within a scan, we can see that he seems to be smiling and content while standing well, where still. Where does he look? Sm- where is he smiling? Uh, I'll get it for you. If Tessaro can... Hold on. Actually, I'll just get it myself. Also, we see him. We see him, Wait. like, about to move, if anything. I mean, I, I don't think so. But... I'll show you. I'll show you. Hey, do you not... Do you not position we make like, when we're about to start running or do you not run like let me show you uh like, just look at, like, like, like sprint off there look like he looks like he's about to move but then the agon like overwhelms him i just think um the reason he like goes into falling is because he was probably forward to like the, right off the bat they get hit with the wait the wait fish. i don't I don't think that Naoya was, he's, Nabisa is in the same position he was at the start of the chapter. I don't think, I don't think he moves at all. I just think that he widens his body in order to make con, or no, in order for the no, no, army to make contact with more. Wait, wait, tell, can I finish? Can I finish? I think yeah. that he just widens his body in order for him, his cast energy to make contact with more of the Shikigami because obviously now it's being stretched wider. And then, like I said, like if you look at his face, he seems to be thinking, right? I said smiling initially. Maybe I remembered it wrong. In the first scan, he seems smiling. In the second scan, he seems to be thinking, right? It implies that he's intentionally doing this and standing still in order to think of a way to plan his movements in order to get to Dargon. I'm saying Nalia doesn't do this. He just punches through his opponent. That's what he does against Maki. No, but that that's what I'm saying, though. I'm saying you could you could assert that he's um what's it called? He's just like just standing there and standing still trying to think of a plan. But I think he has to think of a plan now because he's realizes he's gonna coming towards him. I think he like him being about to run makes sense too. Because again, based off your argument, he kinda expects that he got him to stop. And once they do, you know what he's gonna do. He's gonna start like using PS and start running around beating him up like he used to. Like his way of beating up dog on generally is he just runs around him and just gets acceleration and beats the shit out of him. That's what, like, that's what his idea of, like, that's what his, what his plan normally is. So I think this being, like, him, instead of, like, widening his area, because they're going to be stopped anyway, right? I think instead of him just widening his area of effect, I think it's much more likely that he's just waiting for a chance to just run for a dog and start blitzing him. You know, I think that he's definitely widening his area of effect because, you know, it would be more advantageous for him at this moment in time. Uh, him trying to wait for, like, an area to attack, him trying to wait for an area to attack would mean that he needs the Shikigami to clear up so he can actually see where he's going because obviously he's a strategist and he wants to predetermine his movements in the most distinct way right in the most efficient way so right after I don't think wait what sir and I'm saying right after that he's gonna start after... the second he realized what he's about to do he's gonna start running around yeah, I, him I don't yeah that's what I'm saying the second he realizes what he's going to do which is why he's standing still he's not forced to stand still right he could have moved but he wanted to plan his movements or predetermine his movements that. and there was prove strategic that. Prove, that. Prove, that. Prove, that. prove that prove what that he's not forced to stand still that's your affirmation no 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 no. you said that he could have stood still right or like he could no, have he moved could, yes he could yeah. have moved right. and just right. ran through the as in he could just ran through the sticky gummy like the fall the falling blossom work when you're moving or is it just like one because uh, we only see okay. usually when you're like standing Gojo and Ogi both use it when they're moving, so I can assume so. No, Gojo, wait, wait, Ogi uses it when he sits there, right? Like, when he's, like, charged up a technique. After he's charged up, he just runs. Like, no, I don't no, know Ogi, why he still use it. No, no, Ogi uses it when he coats his, himself and his blade in first energy, and then he send stands up and strikes. <sighs> can someone send that as well, please, bro? Uh, Infinity, I take it in that topic. I feel like we should really like stop debating this because this is this entire debate right now it's gonna become like a get like a get like who has a better theory on how the fight would go instead of like actually, yeah, I, I low key think he was just contingent on the first point and now he's speed gets in once he gets in the domain. I mean, uh, yeah, that's Gojo using it whilst moving. I guess why? It wait, is, but that's not thing though. Why do you think he's wait, using it? Uh, wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you say that he gets in a position that looks like he's about to run whilst using yeah. FDU? So then he's moved. He's talking. No, no, because what I'm saying is we see him in the position from the get go once he starts. So I'm saying that he's no, he ready. No, Bro, that's what you head. argue. That's what look, you argue. No, that's not what I was saying. No, no I said he he's widened the... his stuff. No, I said okay, he's widened. These are the same positions. Yeah, they're in the same, uh, like, general position, but he's widening himself to allow cast energy to spread around more. 
Oh my God, that's not what I'm talking about. You keep like saying unnecessary stuff. Do you agree that this position that he's standing in when he says falling boss of emotion and then that panel where he's getting over Mashigami, do you not think these are the same stance? Do you think it's the same stance or not? The same similar stances, but his legs are wider in the second one. Which you stated. How do you know know this? It's a completely different angle. You're 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 the one that brought this up, Tony, and you said he's in a position that looks like it's about to move. Yes, and I've, and you don't disagree. You're saying it's a similar position, meaning it looks like something. I'm just telling you that this is what it appears and this is what we see it as, right? So I'm saying okay, unless you can distinguish it, that's then fine. it's that's the same. Fine. I don't think that's the contention. That's cool. So Bro, that's the stand of Gojo you think yeah. Gojo? Yeah, Gojo's yeah. standing still. He... What? When, I, when you say movement... Do you mean movement in general, or do you mean like, like what what exactly do you mean by movement? That's um, also Ogi using it, and he still has. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. When I mean movement, I mean like you um running around with it, or like you like w- walking while it's like guards you. That like literally makes you invincible, dude. I don't know why no, you think you can do that. It doesn't, it, it doesn't make. Does Ogi not use it when walking and moving? He activates it for the sword fight, and you're saying he deactivates it before the sword fight actually No, happens. I understand he just ad- activated it at the start. I think that could be in precaution for Maki locking on, like, random attacks, because no. he hasn't seen Maki strength before. No, his whole process is indicated. He's using it to end it. Sword, in, to yeah, end send, the fight that. Fight. send that! Send yeah, that! Send that! Yeah, sorry, don't chill. Anyways, I'll send it for you. Tessero said Ogi doesn't use it. Yeah, Tessero is going to get cliffed. It's really bad news. It's fine. So if you look, I'll say I'll explain it because I'm the one that brought it up. He says, aware of the contingencies at play, oh, he planned to unleash a single mighty blow, right? And he put a countermeasure up so that the or the range of the sword increases. Does that make sense? Why would he just activate it just because the moment he up? Yeah, I sent him. It doesn't make any sense. It's not advantageous for him at all to activate it just for it to deactivate when he stands up. Like, I just think it's like a sense in which it works. I understand he did this while he's charging up his technique, right? Because we see him charge up right after this. You know, do you not think it's a good strategy to, like, when you're charging up for something, you don't think it's a good strategy to, like, surround yourself so you're off guard? He's, charging up. Up? he's not charging up his technique there now. When does he do the fire thing? He does it, like, three, four panels up. It's time. Okay, that's fine. I'm just saying that he could be like, wait, he could just have this on at random points in the fight so that Maki doesn't catch him off guard with some crazy technique that he hasn't seen before and isn't expecting. Wait, Tom and what? You're saying that he activated it at the beginning of the fight when Maki hasn't even got into a fighting stance yet? Maki's um, not in a stance, yeah, she's walking towards him. This is the beginning of the fight, right? This is at the very beginning when she hasn't okay. even entered her oh, stance. She hasn't even drawn her. She hasn't, even drawn her bla- she hasn't even drawn her blade. Um, this is, um, this is, then my argument works then. I, I think, like, cause people fight in different ways. So, you know, like, he doesn't oh know how much. Oh my god, is. Tanwin, no. Yeah. You don't think, you don't think Ogi oversaw, like, or knew how Maki fights based on her fighting during the Zenit? You know, she grew up there, right? She looked completely differently, and then she went to Jujutsu High for a bunch of years to train. He doesn't know when she did. She went, she went to Jujutsu High for two years, that's fine. I'm saying that a majority of her training was done in the Zenit household. Wait, Tessa, who, who, um, who, did you, who did you say should be able to debunk all this BS? C or me? And then, like, simply put, bro, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is just that Ogi activates the technique, right? And I gave a reason for why he does this. It covers itself in cast energy to attack, to attack anything that comes into That's contact. That's what's in question. Wait, That's wait, wait. It's stated. It's stated. It's stated. It's stated. Tell Tanwin. me that. It's in the sky. Okay, anyways. I'm just yes, but that's what I'm saying. Wait, um, okay, okay, wait. Wait, can I, can I finish what I was saying? It's sent in the sky. Nothing in the sky. Can I finish? Can I f- okay, yeah, that's fine. You can think that. We'll check the sky after it's in the wreck. So it says in the scan to attack anything it comes into contact with. I'm saying he's using this to attack Maki. He invokes some form of defensive countermeasure. I'm saying Maki hasn't even gone to a stance. Let me, wait, let me read the scan again. Can I don't even know why I brought that up, bro. <laughs> so they just left it. Tessero outside help Tom with confusion. Okay, regardless, <laughs> regardless, um, oh my regardless, God. All that, Tom, just regardless of all that, regardless of all that, I don't think that's what it says at all. I agree that he's <laughs> using oh, it. 
in order to activate an attack of this, but I don't know why this is a part of the attack or he's using it during the attack. I think it's advantageous to start a fight with a defense measure so that their opponent isn't going to catch you off guard, but I don't think he has to carry the defense measure for the entire fight. That's retarded. Uh, he plans to end the fight in one blow. This doesn't mean... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He plans to end the fight in one blow, so he doesn't actually plan to, what's it called, have the fight draw out. He plans to end it in one strike. Number two, it's in question of whether it's a defensive counter measure when he's in this. It's, a, it's in question whether he plans to use it in this form when it's a defensive counter measure. Uh, it literally states he's using it to attack anything it comes into contact with. I think it's just more congruent with the semantics that my interpretation, which is just that he activates it at the start of the fight. He activates it. Congruent just means that it aligns with can I finish? Can I finish? So like, I'll explain what semantics there are that's congruent. It just means that it aligns with my interpretation. So for example, oh, to attack anything it comes into contact with, to attack is offensive, the complete opposite of defensive, which is what you're trying to argue for. Um, the fact that he's planning to unleash it in a single mighty blow in order to end the fight shows that it aligns with my interpretation, which is that he does not plan to have the fight going for ages. He plans to end it in one strike, and that's why he's using an attacking countermeasure, all right? Um, the yeah. fact that Mark hasn't entered her stance yet, which is shown in the panel, or not in the panel, in the chapter, should just indicate that he's not planning to defend with right, an I'll attack. I'll that bit. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just be, uh, I'll just be, like, the way, I'll just be, like, the way the thing you said, okay. Do you remember during the Yuji and Choso fight, where Yuji hides in the bathroom and then, like, drop kicks Choso and catches him off guard? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Um. So I'm saying, you you understand that in that situation, he was hiding in the bathroom to do an attack. But that doesn't mean hiding in the bathroom is the attack or part of the attack. Part of the attack in the sense that when he's attacking Choso, he's not also hiding in the bathroom during the whole thing. He's just attacking Choso at that moment. So I'm saying in this case, he can have a setup for that attack, which is meant to be a part of the attack, but that doesn't carry over for the entire attack. I think the defense in this situation, following uh, Blossom in Motion, is utilized at the beginning so that he can set up his attack. But I don't think that he has to be using it for the entire attack. I don't think that makes sense. I think you haven't proven that. So. Okay. Um, I'm just send this scan. Second of all, it states that the domain countermeasure falling blossom changes when used in a sword standoff, meaning that the manner in which it is used changes. It's no longer defensive; it's offensive. He's not using it to defend; he's using it to attack. The only attack he unleashes, the only attack he unleashes is this one. And you can see the cursed energy from his katana strike Marky's blade prior to his actual katana striking Marky's blade. I just think that based on all the evidence I've shown, I sent it. I sent it, but this shouldn't matter, right? Because he's using it to defend, surely. Wait, wait, chill, sir, chill, sir, chill, sir, chill, sir. Yeah, okay, bro. Also, comrade, are you free to discuss the first point after this, bro? Like, for like five, ten minutes? Oh, oh, in this situation, that is simply because of how durable the his blade is. I don't see why that's because the blade just cuts the other blade. Yeah, we can conclude. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Okay, we can conclude, bro. Um, uh, so... Yeah, there's, nothing, there's nothing else, bro. We can just wrap it up. You know, I, I'll just make a quick conclusion of the falling bus and emotion point, then yeah, sure. So, right. simply put, uh, I gave three instances of why now you should be able to use it. I said that it seems to be the case that most great family members can use it, such as Gojo, Ogi, etc., uh, etc. Et and now it'll be told clearly. So now you should also be able to use it. I don't think he disagreed. He then asked me why can why can now you move with the technique on? Um, I showed an instance of Ogi moving with the technique on where it says that he covers himself with Christ energy to attack anything it comes into contact with. He asked, why doesn't he just use it for defense? But it states in the scan, it's used for offense. He asked, why isn't he just using this to defend against Maki? I said, in the scan, or in the scans above and below, Maki isn't even in her stance. So it doesn't really make much sense. She just entered the scene. Um, he asked, it wouldn't make sense for him to have the thing on for the whole fight. I said, he has to end the fight in one move, so it's not going to be prolonged. Um, I then sent a scan where you can see the curse energy lurch from Ogi's blade. You can see it lurch and hit um, what's called Ogi's blade prior, or Ogi, Maki's blade, prior to the actual swing, which is indicates the usage of falling blows in emotion. Um, so I just believe that I showed an instance of it being used in the fight. 
I also believe that based on the statements in itself, it seems that like he's using it for offense. He was moving with it throughout the fight. I also showed now Bito moving with it as well, like slightly, but I don't know. And I also Gojo using it, but he changed movements from just simple movements to like uh, immense movements for whatever ad hoc reason it doesn't matter. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that's my okay. conclusion. Okay. I'll just put real quick. Uh, I don't need a conclusion. I'm pretty sure you heard all my points. I mean, you need to go over anything that you think I haven't said that I can. But the specific thing that I want to go over, um, the stuff he said at the end with the Ugi stuff, I told, he said that, oh, his, her, um, her blade was broke, uh, for Ugi even swung, right? Or swung, right? I said that, okay, that's because Mark, there's this panel that he sends. Maki's sword comes into contact with Ugi's when Maki's about to do something, right? And then we think that Maki's sword breaks. I think it's because the impact that it made once it came into contact with Ugi's sword, right? So even if Ugi's not the one swinging at the moment, I think Maki's sword can crumble because of the initial um, exchange between those blades or whatever. Um, the following last motion, I never changed my thing to, oh, it has to be massive movement. My entire time, this thing has been, he can't even make minor movements. That's why I sent the scan to where I show, I show him Nabito standing in the exact same position when he starts it and when he's waiting for the swarms to slow down. He never changes his stance, right? So I'm saying, okay, it means no movements are allowed. The Gojo one, I said Gojo in that panel standing still. He never like extrapolates on my ass, like any sort of like relevant movement or if any movement at all. Um, but uh, he just doesn't get anywhere with his arguments. Most of the arguments he ends up dropping, and I, I think this debate was really stupid. I think we were just arguing with Kenneth kind of for the entire like last twenty minutes. Yeah, um, that's that's fine. You know, you can end it at the Carmage. I want to ask, why do you think Tom won the first point? Like, what about Tom's argument really stood out? He really made you think. Yeah, I stand in for real. Hello, Carmage. Thanks. Ragey, mm-hmm. hello? This nigga not even in the beat, bro. Uh, <sighs> what was that last um, point? Why y'all talking about breaking that nigga sword? I mean, uh, Maki breaking that nigga sword. He didn't get what I was talking about. It's fine, though. It's so stupid, though, but, bro, it's so obvious. If I win Nabito by Naya, Dagon beats Nabito. Dagon beats Naya. Like, uh, not because of, of, of a stats thing. Wait, what about Yeah, we were presupposing he starts in domain. So I'm saying Dagon just does the thing to Tsunami. Why did you agree to that? Why did you agree to that? Yeah, so I was I confused was to agree to I was expecting to win. Now you're over now. So I think I won that point really soundly. Uh, in I'm domain, over. buddy? What are you talking about? Yeah, as in now he just blitzes him before he can do anything. If he's over now, so he's already over him in stats. I, I, I hate this. Oh like, my God. Like, do you think... Do you think, like, there would be, like, any fight in the series where the characters, just, like, blitzes the other? Like, you think Naya, the human eyes is blitzing and winning against Naya? Toji Kuka, not Naya? arrive and blitz, stop. Okay, yep. Yeah, Toji, no, Toji arrives and, wait, Toji arrives and does all this stuff, but Daigon still tries to attack him with the sure hit yeah. technique. It would be the and same he, case and, here, except there's no fails, domain, bro. And he, and he fails woefully, and now, now he also has the full name blossom. There's a difference, there's a difference. The sure hit Naya, is wait, automatic Marky, here. Marky, Marky. Does Naya not have the Falling Blossom emotion to counter show hits? We see what happens. Oh my god. Yeah, we're oh, okay. the, the, the auto hit. Okay, in this case, right, Megami's domain is not there, which means that sure hit shit would exact that's, same thing would happen. Yeah, it wouldn't stop I, I and then think, get, I just think, get hit. I just think Naya cuts through all of them, bro. Like, what? Okay, where's like, the likelihood they, in that? Nigga couldn't do they, it. Nigga couldn't do it when. Uh, right, Marky, you ask me a question. The same way that now Beetle was cutting through every single one before Dargon had to sneak behind him and punch him. I think the same thing. Okay, happened. well, what? Wait, 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 wait. Please show me where he punched him from behind. And you do know from, that there's going to be behind. a substantial amount. Also, there's going to be a substantial wait, wait. more amount of yeah. Shikigami coming at him because also, it's now going to be one hundred percent. Also, Tessaro, um. Falling Blossom Emotions, not a derivative of Simple Domain. I don't know where you got that yeah, from. I, I don't think that. That's just a different. It's just a different way to deal with auto hits, not. Yeah, but, it's, it's not, but, anyways, it's not but anyways, look, look. Dagon's going to have, instead of 75%, he's going to have 100% on his nigga ass. So now okay. he's going to comment more on uh the relentless uh Shigigami attacking him. Then he's going to get fucked up. Like, I he think did last just, yeah, like imagine, imagine there's like a, a sea of water coming towards you. Or no, let's say like a sea of confetti coming towards you, but like you have like 
spinning helicopter blades attached to your body, and you're also extremely fast. I think Naya just does the same thing. He just runs through, cuts all oh, the Oh, that's not even analogous. Oh, that's wait, not even analogous. This... Mark, Mark, wait, bro, can I finish, bro, please? I think uh, that the same you way. Already finished that, bro, I wasn't finished. I was like, go ahead. Okay. I think that the same way if you have like a corridor and there's paper all around you, just tracking you, and then you have spinning blades all over your body, I think you run through the corridor, cut with a blade, and then kick the nigga on the other side. I think now it's the same thing. Wait, now you? Now you yes. Skinner, bro, are you here? Why is now you above? What's his name? Now we told, I just, I argue. I mean, relative to him. Relative, yeah, but why? I, think he's a, I think he's above. I said that he's the chief of the hay. Now oh, is in the hay. hay? Yeah, the hay is a battle what? squad and it's a consistency of battle squads and the leaders being stronger than the people within them. Let me see that. Uh, you know, in the star of Shibuya, when they're lying. Wait, 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 wait. Now we told that? Yes. Let me see that. And let's say, let's say you get this point off. Uh-huh. You said it. I don't think that's analogous. I'm gonna be honest. You don't think what's analogous? Yeah, it's not just a bunch of paper. All right, fishes are substantially bigger. The better, the better thing would be like shit, like um, wood. Let me see. Nah, well, maybe. But yeah, well, the wood, but you... instead, but the wood, but the wood is omnidirectional, omnidirectional, and the shit is like you can't see shit like you can't see nothing in front of you yeah he just predetermines his movements forward to track dalgon it's fine oh my god bro what what how is he gonna do that when there's a bunch of shikigami around him i don't he can't see him right. oh. yeah he he's not tall from him. he's not tall from avatar he can't sense no down from the feet he he, yeah, he, uh, yeah i'm asking if Nabito, right, who is stated to be skillful, right, or adept at fighting, and he can't predict the movements, he comments on how he can't see. Wait, right? oh my, wait. And why to, would not? Wait, I need to talk to Khan Reeves. Oh, bro, nigga's not here. He's not. Yeah. He's, he's gone. Yeah, but I'm not even trying to have this conversation. I'm not going to lie. Right. The whole point no, was just, just that now he comes into the domain. Yeah. Wait, wait, chill. Yeah. The whole point I'm is just that now you're coming to the domain. Yeah, the whole point is just that now you're coming to the domain. At the very beginning, Nabito has like a good five seconds to sprint and beat that nigga up. He doesn't. He just stands still and looks like, oh yeah, it's a nice beach, right? Then before the show hits even activated, or before not before it's activated, but before the death storm's activated, he gets attacked again. Instead of at um, instead of what's it called? Activating forward and blossom and then sprinting forward, he stands still and allows him to activate his technique. I think that before all of this shit happens, now he just blitzes him. Like I just think he starts beating him up. Okay, okay, okay. Why is it that he just needs to concentrate on the curse energy being flowed out everywhere and stabbing every single thing instead of just also when he looks out, that's clearly him being off guard. He's suddenly where from one uh one place and then he's in another. So the positioning yeah, but, is different. Yeah, man, also, that wouldn't be the case. Kind of relevant, that, wouldn't, but, that wouldn't be the case with now because he just spawns in like he's just there. You know what I mean? That's the battle. And also, uh, that was a that yeah, was okay, good. Okay, okay. Might, I don't think. Okay, his think positioning that, would still be different yeah, based yeah. off the domain. Okay, that's there, fine. That's fine. Anyway, it, it's, yeah. All right, go ahead. That's fine. So I understand the okay. he's the focus on the Shikigami is cutting in the scan. He does have. Yeah, I'm, I mean his cursed energy. He's focusing. I, I said, why can't it just no, be I the case that he ain't he isn't able, able to rapidly him. move because he's focusing his cursed energy in different I think, places I think so he can counter the Shikigami? I think it's autonomous. I think it's what. Well, but, autonomous. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's say, like, wait, wait, let's wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let's. Do you think As Nabito in, has bigger stats? I mean, greater stats. Greater stats. Than Daga. Than like yeah, speed. I think. I think. He's much okay. If that's the case. Okay. If that's the case, and if it's on Thomas, why can't he just rush forward and do it? Actually, no. Isn't there like a time, like a not a time skip, but we see Nabito looking out. The next chapter, they're all doing something else. Wait. What? There's an interval in the chapters. Like, it's not him just looking out anymore. Yeah. Oh, my tweeting. I'm not trying to read the date, Tommy. I'm not the date, niggas, twice. What? Oh, I just don't know why you think Nabito would take... I mean, what's his name? Wouldn't 
Reeves same issue. I, I don't know how you're going to... I don't wait, know how you're going to prove that it's a dominant wait, 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 wait. season. He's standing Marky, still. Marky, Marky, Marky. What? Look at this panel. What? Now imagine, cut out the first bit. Imagine that's just Naoya. What do you think happens if Naoya activates his technique, sprints, and then punches Dargon? Do you not think he would be able to do this? But Naoya doesn't fight yeah, like that. I, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Naoya well, does fight well, like that. And Naoya, Naoya does try to bleed people. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, he doesn't work. Saying, he does, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't what? Be specific. He, he doesn't only blitz people. It's not like a one. He's not like a one. I mean, yes. Line. I mean, yeah. Yes. I think he's shown to like. I think he's shown to change yeah. his strategy based on other criteria that are introduced into the situation. Yeah, I disagree. Hence, I think that's, that's, hence when that's, Choso that's could fine. see that's him. Fine. Hence when Choso could see him again, he changed his strategy from attacking straight forward to counterattacking. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't okay, yeah, that's anything. fine. That's, that's fine. That's, okay, no, 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 that's, 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 wait, wait, chill. The point is being I'll propelled by it. his speed and him attacking, bro, his offense. Yeah, what I was going to say was that's the, that's the different version of Naoya, okay? That version of Naoya says that he always acts on the assumption he will counter. When he fights against Maki, he clearly does not act on this assumption because he's surprised when she counterattacks. I think that the version of now I'm using is top speed now, yo. I don't think he's fighting the same. Yeah, yeah. The the, the, the difference is the difference. Ahead, yeah, Mark. the difference is that Maki, the difference that Maki, right? He tapped her on the fucking shoulder. He thinks that she's gonna be a frame. There's no reason for you to be able to counter when you're in a frame for one second. He's going speed of sound. Yeah. Oh my There's God. There's a difference. Wait, wait. When? Okay, Maki. The statement I always, always act with the assumption you counter. Just because she doesn't oh my God, it, bro. Oh, can people can say can things. Can and people can bro, say can things. Can and then... Bro, Marky, can I, bro, okay. This, this statement. I'm just countering what you're saying. Go yeah, ahead. but you're not letting me finish mid-statement, bro. Like, don't do that again, bro. It's tiring. The statement I always act with the assumption counter implies that this is a part of his fighting style. That's when Choso adapts to him. He looks at Choso like, oh, I get it. You've adapted. And then he counters. Against Marky, he looks at her. I'm pretty sure he says something as well. I don't really know. I'll check this guy right now. But he looks at her and he's confused because he did not act on the assumption she'll counter. Two completely different things. Do you think uh, um, now yeah, you can change I'm, the way he fights yeah. based on the opponent he's actually attacking? Like, do you think his emotions yeah. could, a, could affect his yeah. fighting style? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can affect everyone's fighting style, your emotions, your roles. And, and, uh, I think. Theme in JJK. He was like but, really triggered, bro, right? I, I think that, okay, guess and listen. Now, yeah, we need to lose his smart. So he also says that he's not going to do the same thing when he does with Choso. So we know he's strategically thinking he's going to try to blitz Maki. And he does that. He taps her on the shoulder, but he doesn't know her line of thinking. So when he thinks that she's going to be in a frame now, right, there's no reason for him, his fighting style or the way he hurts an opponent comes into play because the bitch is frozen. There's nothing to predict. There's no movement coming from her. That's like, okay, like that's like, um, affected from the start of the fight. Like the moment uh, he sees I think, Maki, I think he's, he's like able upset to do that. and triggered. Yeah, I don't know about the, that, the, but the more she resembles to, the more she resembles Toji, the more she's crumbling his worldview and he's getting upset about it. I think that's more so. He, she's a woman. He he thinks lowly yeah. of her. He doesn't think he can exactly. be like uh, uh like his idol. So I don't yeah. think it's necessarily it's fucking with. He's like he's just saying you aren't worthy of it. 